Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You're here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the Advent Calendar. Oh, yes. So we are on the actual calendar page. Of course, that's how we started off, you silly moose. Why wouldn't we? Um, so we're going to actually crack on with day number eight. So let's see what's behind day number eight. Oh, yes. This is what we're talking about. This is something completely new for the channel. Five Nights at Freddy's. Funko Pop unboxings. Now, of course, I'm showing you quite a lot of them there, um, but we're going to be sp uh, focusing on just two, uh, which is all I could find at this present moment in time. But let me know what your thoughts are on this, and we're going to go over to the video now and check them out. Okay, so we are here with the video. So this is a rather interesting one um, because I didn't think I was going to pick these guys up. Now, there's not all of them, don't worry, but there is there's, there's two. <clears throat> there is two. We'll be opening them, checking them out firsthand, seeing what they're actually like. They look awesome. They really, really do. You can see we've got a Christmas backdrop now. Uh, we're busy on the weekend <clears throat> putting up all the deckies and everything like that. So we're all ready and set to go. So without further ado, let's see which ones we've got. We first off have got Five Nights at Freddy's Bonnie, the Funko Pop, and boy does this look amazing. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Does that look scary to you? No, no, that does not look scary at all. Um, the other one, however, Chica, does look a little bit creepy. Those hollow, the very hollow black eyes there, with that white ring, which really makes them quite creepy. The open mouth there, you can see massive beak. You've got the let's eat there. No cupcakes, sadly, no accessories or anything like that. Would have been cool if it was just attached to her arm or something like that, or just a little thing on the side or on the base, or, or if it had a base. Um, but you can see these guys are 107 and 108. Now, these are the only ones I can actually find when I went out. Now, there's obviously going to be all of the others out there somewhere at some point, but these guys are a good starting block. Now, turning to the back here, of course, you can see their little uh, models here, but you can also see... Which other ones are available? we got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. They're all from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Then you've got Springtrap, which is from the third one, and Nightmare Freddy, which is from the fourth one. Um, there are also some different variants and everything like that, which hopefully... Um, I am a completist of different sets, so I'm hoping to possibly get them and finish this set of Five Nights at Freddy's, because they do look so, so awesome, um, as much as they probably would give me nightmares. However, like I said, let's crack them open and actually see what they're like firsthand. Because um, why not? We've got to show them off. So let's uh, pop this dude out. Here he is, Bonnie. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. This is awesome. Wow. Okay, so it is a very, very awesome looking figure. Um, not like any others. It does, does have a little bit of rotating, and I mean just a smidge. Um, although you might, if you really want to and scratch the paint, you probably could do the full twist. I'm not going to. The arms don't move as much as they do look as if they could move. Um, the legs don't move either. But the detailing is fantastic. It really is amazing. You can see the back here. They haven't just gone for that flat circular top. They've actually molded it to make the, uh, the actual mask and everything. The paint is pretty much A-OK, -okay, really. There are a bit of overlaps every now and again, but... You know, front facing, it looks amazing. It really, really does. The, the red bow tie, um, it looks amazing. He's got the tail there. Um, isn't is Bonnie a Bonnie is a guy, isn't it? Or at least a male Bonnie, maybe. <laughs> it looks like a guy anyway. I mean, what what? I don't know. Um, but the ears are pretty cool as well. You can see that hint of like silvery metal there, and there's a little bit here, and they're sort of flopping over, which is rather cool indeed. They are really creepy. The head is, it actually has a bit of weight to it, which is rather surprising. The head, I think, is the most weighty part of it. Um, it doesn't seem to be that hollow. Um, there probably is a smidge of hollow, but it, it does thick plastic. It's not that squidgy. Um, but like I said, the paint is fantastic. It really, really is. And it probably stands up, look at that. Stands up perfectly. Really, really cool. So we'll put his box to the back there and uh, put him to the back slightly. And then we'll concentrate on Chica. Let's pop her out and see what she's like. It's the best part about these is opening them up and checking them out firsthand. Always is so, so cool. There we go. Let's pop this one out. There we go. Wow, very, very nice. So this one can actually do the full... Oh my gosh, that is creepy. 
There we go. We'll have uh, reverse Chica. Reverse Chica. Um, but she looks amazing. Again, the detailing is really, really cool. Um, of course, she is mostly yellow, but they've done a really, really good job with all the paint. Not a lot really you can mess up on with in terms of this paint. They've even gone into the little specks there of uh, all of these little itty bitty confetti pieces on the little bib. Um, I don't know whether that's supposed to be there, but it, it look to me it looks a bit more aged. So I mean that's ideal. The feet are orange, the beak is orange, teeth are really nice. You can just slightly if you wanted to, if you dare do it and let her bite you, uh, <laughs> put your finger in there. Um, you can see just a hint of silver there, which I think is quite clever because obviously there are silver parts all dotted around and they've just sneakily hidden them in um, every now and again. There's a bit of silver there, or white paint. Can I maybe... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Fixed. Lovely. Um, but wow, this is amazing. A nice smooth finish. They always are quite nice and smooth. Um, and they almost remind me of like a pastel sort of um, texture. Is that even a texture, a pastel? Or like a chalk texture? Just a, a very small hint of a chalk texture. That's what they feel like. Um, I've never actually used that description before on these, but it, it is. It's quite hard to describe how smooth, but it's not, it's sort of got that rough, not rough, it's not 100% rough, but it, it feels rough. I mean, you might be able to hear that. It is smooth, but there is this just weird texture to it. It's like a, a chalky texture. But um, you can have, obviously, them displayed out of their boxes, which I think would look really creepy. Um, especially if maybe, like, if you could get someone to custom them, maybe, so that the boxes could actually be smashed. Or at least they're painted to look like they're smashed open, and then they're out staring at you as if they're actually moving towards you. I think this would be really, really cool. They are quite creepy, and honestly... You know, those blank expressions, they are staying in those boxes with zip ties around them because anything could happen. Um, but they are so, so freaky. Chica, I just think, I mean, even the head, just the head alone. The, 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 is there anything joyful about that? If, if her mouth was closed, maybe. Um, but, oh, it's the teeth of anything. I mean, if the teeth weren't there, that kind of looks like a bit more of an upset duck now. Um, but with the teeth, it just looks a bit more menacing, really. Um, but I, I like how you can tilt the head. Obviously, it's a very small feature, but tilting the head is definitely very awesome. Um, it sort of gives it a bit more of a, a posture, you know, rather than it just being fixed on one place and just staring at you when it should be, like, you know, on an angle staring at you like that. It's really, really cool. They look amazing. They're going to look amazing with the rest of them, and hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on some of them rather soon, if not in the new year. But a very, very different uh, part to our um, advent calendar videos. Very different indeed. Wasn't planning on getting these at all. They, ha they were there. I thought, why not? Let's get them. And here's two to start off with. So that, yes, I think these are really, really cool. Um, but I want to know from you guys in the comments below, which one, obviously we've got all of these here, and if you know your Funko Pops and you know the exclusives, then let me know. But if there's not one here, which other one would you like to see being made? Um, <clears throat> I, I'm not too sure which one. I'm kind of looking uh, forward to Springtrap. I kind of like the character. A lot more of the nightmares I'd like to see. I mean, honestly, let's be honest, we want to see every single character being made. They're making some of the, the, the very secret rare ones, like uh, Shadow Bonnie and everything like that, Shadow Freddy, I think. Um, they've even made already, before these were even came out, a Golden Freddy, so there is that to still find. Um, so yeah, I'm going to definitely uh, try and get all of these guys, but oh my gosh, these are pretty creepy indeed. They are really, really creepy. Um, the It's the blank, it literally is the black eyes that are just, they just creep you out. They stare at you. They are literally staring at you. It's really, really weird. Ooh. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it here for this advent calendar video. I hope you did enjoy this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below for more of this. Hopefully, we'll have more of these on the channel soon. Uh, maybe a few more Five Nights at Freddy's products. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Maybe some blind bags. They're all like key rings and everything like that. Really, really cool stuff. Let me know what you think on that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for uh, another advent calendar video. So thank you and goodbye.